Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And I just want to show you quickly the importance of having fenders to not having fenders. So I'm going to grab the camera, I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer and I'm going to show you why it's a great idea, or in my opinion, I think it's the best idea to put the inner fenders and inlays or inserts on these infractions. So let me bring you over. Right guys, so this is my armor infraction. And as you can see, it's absolutely filthy. Now this was just from my first run. I took it out, um, wasn't wet or anything. As you, if you've watched the video, you, you'll know it was in a car park, in an indoor car park. So naturally it is a bit dusty, but I've seen so many videos and, and things where people say that they get absolutely filthy inside and yeah you know what i mean so all the rubber comes off the tires i know you do a burnout and all that but i mean it was getting dirty anyway now this was running around as well in the same car park it didn't get as much as much time as, or as the infraction but i didn't have the the cover on it which i normally do run them with and i thought no i don't need to this has got the inner fenders and it's got the inner fenders from school star c now these are the same sort of thing that you'll get on the infraction but look at it it's spotless so it's still absolutely spotless apart from i've got to place a new arm on there I'm just waiting for that to arrive so it's absolutely crazy so i've got bits and pieces coming for this infraction so i have got some rear inlays so carbon fiber inlays going in on the back i've got the inserts to go down there they're coming as well and then i've got the the fenders that come and run all the way across here so you've got the infills so the infills in here and the fenders that will go over it and stop all that muck and dirt and dust and tire rubber all getting in there so Hopefully that should be any day now. I thought it might have been here last Friday uh, for whatever reason. Um, it's taking over a week to get here. So as soon as that comes in, I'm going to show you them. Um, I'm going to get them installed on the car. I'm going to give this all a nice clean off, get it all back to being pristine again, and then I can get all the bits fitted on there. Um, I'm still waiting for the titanium skid plates to come back in stock and the screws and the front skid plate. So. I did have them all in my car, ready to go. I didn't want to get them before I got the car. Got the car, went on there to buy them, and it all sold out. So, so we have got some new hoons over there to go on here. Uh, I'm going to look into the GPRs, um, and I, I made this little, uh, I made this little shock holder as well. So it's actually on a piece of Velcro that you can pull off if it gets in the way. But a piece of angled wood, drilled the holes out. I wrapped the top of it do four shocks at a time and, uh, and if I want to move it I could just pull it off it's velcroed on there and, uh, and get it out of the way so that's a, a nice little idea same as what I did with my tools so I made a little double shelf stacking system I've got a bit of alley actually I might redo this but that works absolutely fine so I'm quite happy about that as well but yeah so that's why I highly recommend getting the fenders for the armor infraction and yeah it should stop all of that or most of that dirt from ever getting in there so can't wait for those to arrive and then i can get them on the car so thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the bell give us a thumbs up leave a comment and i'll catch you in the next one